today, this is part one of a two-part series exposing the satanic cult that is the Westboro Baptist Church. They are a satanic cult, they pretend to be Christians, but in reality they call themselves Baptists, but they're actually Calvinists. They believe a heresy called Calvinism, and this heresy comes from, it stems from the Catholic Church, and then it was just changed or reformed. The thing of limited atonement or total depravity comes from the Catholic heresy of original sin, uh, which is not the biblical original sin, the Catholic version is false. But here are some quotes from Fred Phelps on Calvinism. And here are six quotes, and I chose number six because Revelation 13, 18 says that six is a number of man. So I chose six quotes of Fred Phelps where he is basically exalting the heresies of John Calvin above the Bible and lifting the teachings of John Calvin to the place of scripture. So here's the first quote. He says, my friend, if you do not heartily, heartily and believe the message embraced in the so-called five points of Calvin, it is because you are not of God. You have not been born of God. You have not been taught of God. You are seized with a powerful spirit of error. So, knowing the Bible is not enough. You have to know Calvinism or else you are seized with a spirit of error. He's exalting the words of Calvin above to the place of Scripture, just like the Catholics exalt their pagan traditions to the place of Scripture. Second quote, If you did not know the five points of Calvinism, it, you do not know the Gospel, but you only know some perversion of it. So the Gospel in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, that Jesus Christ died, was buried, and rose again the third day, that's not enough. You have to have Calvinism, or else you only have a perversion of the Gospel. Totally wicked. Uh, third quote, there is no true message, message of God in the earth aside from the doctrinal system commonly called the five points of Calvinism. All other religious messages and doctrinal systems are nothing but false, superstitious lies and fables. So Calvinism is the only divine message, according to this uh, wicked person, this uh, wicked little corrupter of the gospel. Uh, fourth quote, the message of Galatians 1, 8 through 9 is this, that if any man preach any other gospel than the doctrines contained in the five points of Calvinism, let that person be damned to hell forever. So, the gospel is not Jesus Christ died and buried, was buried and rose again the third day. The gospel is the five points of Calvinism. What does the Bible say in Galatians 1, 6-9? That, you know, if any, man preach, if any man preach any other gospel, let him be accursed. Fred Phelps is accursed. He was preaching a false gospel and he is in hell right now. Fifth quote, there is no authority in scripture for the lying doctrine that Jesus Christ died for everybody, and if you believe otherwise, you have been misinformed. Uh, what about John 3.16, for God so loved the world? So many scriptures debunk this quote right here. What about uh, John chapter 1 verse 29, which calls Jesus Christ the Lamb of God, take, which taketh away the sins of the world? That's John chapter 1 verse 29. What about 1 John 2 verses 1 to 2? which says that Jesus Christ is a propitiation for the sins of the whole world. What about 1 John chapter 4, verse 14, which says the Father sent the Son to be the, to be the Savior of the world. What about John chapter 4, verse 41 to 42, which calls Jesus Christ the Savior of the world. What about Hebrews chapter 2, verse 8 to 9, which, or sorry, Hebrews chapter 2, sorry, verse 9, misquoted there, where it says Jesus Christ tasted, tasted death for every man. What about 2 Peter 3, 9, where it says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. See, he's, he's twisting the gospel. It's wicked. And the sixth quote, get a little of this. Any preacher who declares that God loves everybody, that Christ died for everybody, and that it is your free will to accept or reject Christ, that makes a difference, is preaching a perverted notion of his own imagination and is corrupting the word of God. This is easily debunked. He's saying, oh, it's your free will to accept or reject it. Okay. This is very easily debunked. Acts chapter 7, verses 51. Because he says, oh, you don't have the free will. Because it's basically the, it's basically the irresistible grace. You cannot reject it. You don't have free will. Okay. Acts 7.51 Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in your heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, as your fathers did, so do ye. So he's preaching the gospel to them, and they're resisting the Holy Ghost. You know what that means? It's your choice. You have the free will to reject it or accept it. But Fred Phelps is saying otherwise. I guess in his wording, I guess, I guess, um, I guess the Bible, whoever wrote, I guess the writers of the Bible were seized with the powerful spirit of error. I guess when Paul talked about, you know, preaching the gospel, warning every man, I guess Paul was seized with the powerful spirit of error. You know, totally wicked and 
corrupting of the true biblical gospel. Calvinism is a false gospel. It is wicked. And Fred Phelps is in hell right now. He preached a false gospel right there. He said there's no, mes no message aside from the five points of Calvin, that is basically the gospel. Paraphrasing, of course, but he exalted Calvinism above the word of God. So don't be deceived by this Westboro cult. Stay tuned for part two, it is coming. Uh, showing some scriptures totally debunking their satanic heresy that Jesus Christ didn't die for everyone. So don't be deceived by the Westboro Baptist cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.